Happy Vlogmas everyone! Good morning! Will we go and see if Jingles has made a bit for freedom? In here? Mm -hmm. Elsa, why are you in prison? Freedom at last. Time to get revenge. Ho ho ho, Jingles. <laughs> right, Jingles, what have you done? So you've locked up Elsa for silliness and mischief. <laughs> He's tied mistletoe and the two babies together. He's wrapped Spud. Is that toilet roll? Mm. In toilet roll. And he's taped... Oi, that's my washi tape! He's taped magic to the deer because he's always posing as a deer. Oh, and he's changed that himself. He's like, yes, I'm out! <laughs> what do you think of that? Did you think he was going to get up to mischief? Did you think that was the kind of mischief he was going to get up to? No. No. <laughs> that is quite funny. Mm. <laughs> Will we change this back to a Santa countdown now? Mm. Right, so it's back to naughty days till Christmas. Eight days to go. Eight days till Santa. Everybody says you have to sing group. No. Please. Eight days to go. Eight days till Santa. Oh, Come on. Oh, can't believe Christmas is a week tomorrow. What you got? What you got? Kit Kats. Kit Kats? Oh, is it your peanut butter ones? Yay! <laughs> that put a smile on your face. <laughs> Yay! Has it fell out? So it must have slid down. It is. Is it there? What is it? A Molly. Oh, Molly. A notepad. Slytherin. Just Harry Potter. Just Hogwarts. Good morning, missus. What day is it? The 17th? Uh, yeah. Mm. This fell out too, so she's as well. To just keep it, it's a sorting hat paper clip. What you got, Rolos? I love Well, them. there she is, ready for her party. Those tights go perfect with the dress. Mm. Hey, hey, looking good. Are you looking forward to it? Mm. Good. Yeah, you still need to get your boots on. You're going to get food. Trust you. <laughs> you happy leaving your hair down? Yeah. It's definitely needing cut, isn't it? Right, milky bar time. Now, oh, Elsa. Poor Elsa and her jail cell are falling over there. Whoopsie, whoops, whoops. There we go, stay in your jail. Right, here we go. We are on number 17 now, which is down here. And oh, I don't know what, I'm not gonna guess. I'm just gonna get into it. Here we go, here we go. It's a bauble, a Christmas bauble. And it's a nutcracker again, yay. And it's a little bulk doggy again with the Christmas hat on. So sweet. Yay, chocolate. Right, Advent Swap now, day 17. Look at the paper, the snow globes, and they're very glittery. The snow in it's very glittery. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it is. It's lovely. Oh, we've got another frame again. It's a beautiful Christmas one again. It's got snowflakes. Well, actually, I like the fact that it's just snowflakes because that can be winter. It doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. So yeah, that's perfect. Just a plain butterfly this time, a plain cream one. I could colour that one in myself. And a plain tag. And the caramel bread, oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, that's lovely paper, that tag. See how shiny that is. That is beautiful. I like that. Another wee blank banner. They're just perfect for anything. Oh, Uncle Sam. Hey, Uncle Sam, that would go with that heart that I got not that long ago. Oh, beautiful jug. It could be a vase. It could be anything I want it to be. Oh, gorgeous snowflake. That is so pretty. And finally, we have a gorgeous little bear tag. A Santa bear. That is beautiful. Thank you again, Laura. I love everything. Hi, everyone. Welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland and Vlogmas Day 18. First of all, I want to say a huge, huge 
thank you to everybody for all your support and your lovely words about Ranak. We all really, really appreciate it. So many of you were writing lovely comments down below saying that you hope he's doing well and that he, we get good news. And some of you were even messaging me on Instagram and Instant Messenger and things like that. And I really, really appreciate every single one of you. It does help to get to get us through these times. Um, as you can see, I'm smiling today because... We had Rannoch at the vets again last night to get his tail, his tail checked, his tail checked, and the vet is really happy with it. Is to go back on Saturday morning again just to get it checked again. And um, yeah, the vet said it went as well as it possibly could, and he was so impressed by Rannoch's just his whole nature. I mean, even when the vet yesterday took the bandage off his tail and was messing about with it and redressing it, he just stood there. He didn't bother his backside. And the vet just said, what an amazing dog he is. He didn't want to give him back. <laughs> eh, hey, He is doing so much better. He's back to his old self again. He's eating. He's barking constantly. He's jumping about like a dafty, playing with Willa and, and the other dogs. And I really just hope he doesn't burst his stitches now. <laughs> I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. But all we need to do now is keep our fingers and paws crossed for good news it would be the best Christmas present ever. Um, the vet reckons it normally takes about 10 days, but obviously that would be Christmas time. So we're hoping that if it's good news, we get it before Christmas. If it's bad news, we get it after Christmas. But we'll just need to wait and see, and I will let you know. He is whining now, if you can hear him, but that's I want to play, not there's something wrong with me. So it's a good whine. I'm sorry that the last couple of Vlogmas videos haven't been great. Between me blobbing in one of them and when I was editing yesterday's that I had missed out, like I had deleted a lot of the footage. So I'm sorry about that, but hopefully we'll get back to normal now for the rest of Vlogmas, which isn't going to be long. Can you believe that Christmas is only a week away? I had flown in. What? I'm going to go and give him a treat. Now that he's got his appetite back, he is waking up. Right, sorry about that. Hopefully we'll get peace now. Um, so I do apologise. No more negative Nelly. I've got my positive Christmas pants back on and we're going to enjoy the rest of Vlogmas. Um, so today the elves, as you saw, Jingles got released from his elf isolation and he made up for it. Look at the state of those elves behind me. So now I've got them all at me full force for the next week. Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. Right, and I missed the dogs getting their advents again this morning. Sorry about that, but the girls got theirs and it was all good again. Sweets. Can't beat sweets. Right, today's Vlogmas, I am going to do another Christmas DIY for you. So let's get into that now. Right, so as I said, today I'm going to be doing three Christmas DIYs. Again, budget, using things that you've got lying about the house. It's so versatile, you can do what you want. I'm going to be using these three things here. So I have got a coffee jar that I've basically taken the label off and put through the dishwasher so it's nice and clean. I keep all my jars for things like this or just for anything basically. I have got a mason jar here because I think that that's got the sort of old retro Christmas, a sort of farmhouse Christmas feel to it, the, the mason jar. And I have also got this massive big jar here, which I think is part of a tea, coffee, sugar set that I got ages ago out of um, B&M's maybe. And yeah, I can't remember how much it was or anything like that, but it was lying about not getting used for anything. So I decided to use it for this. But like I say, you can use anything that you've got lying about, any jars. The first one that I'm going to do is I'm going to use the big jar because I want to turn this into a sweetie jar. I was looking around for a nice sweetie jar to keep in the kitchen. I was looking for a nice Christmas one with a nice Christmas pattern on it or pictures of Santa or snowflakes or something. And I couldn't find a decent one anywhere. So I thought, right, time to do a DIY. The other things that I've got with me here are, just, I don't know if I'm going to use them all, but just in case I do, I have got the stickers that I used for the wine glasses that I wasn't very pleased with, but I can still use them. I have got the Epsom salts that I used for the picture that I made. 
the one and only set of window clings, window stickers that I managed to get this year. Um, and I do wish I had managed to get more. I've got a lovely gold ribbon type tool type thing that was actually on an old Christmas tree skirt that I took to bits because it was going to be getting tipped. So I was like, nope, I'll be using that. And um, I don't know if I'll use it or not, but I've got it here just in case. And I've got some of the bits that I got from my advent swap so far with Laura. So I've got this gorgeous penguin saying Christmas wishes that is actually a tree bobble, but it could be useful for this. I've got the gorgeous sparkly sort of pincetia type. I have got the Christmas washi tape. I've got the felt wreath. And I thought I might use the Christmas bear tag that I got today. Like I say, I might not use all of these, I might not use any of them, but it's just to give you an idea of the sort of things that you can use. I have got my sensicles that I showed you when I was decorating my craft room, I think. Um, now, we have got most of these on the Christmas tree, but they smell so strong of cinnamon that we didn't want to put them all on. Um, we got these in B&Q, but I think you can pick them up in quite a lot of places. Um, so I've got them. And finally, I have got a, an artificial tea light. So, like I say, anything Christmassy that you've got lying about, you might have a nice Christmas ribbon or Christmas twine. I've not got anything like that. You might have, I've got the Christmas washi tape here, which is like a craft sellotape type thing. But you might have some Christmas sellotape that you could use. Anything at all that looks Christmassy that you think, oh, I could use that. Just let your imagination go wild. Tree baubles, anything at all. So, let's have a, a go. So, because my sweetie jar is quite big, I think I'm definitely going to put one of the snowflake window clings on. But I don't want anything too big. The, the, the massive one in the middle would be just too big, I think. That one there might be quite nice. Let's have a look and see what that's like. <laughs> I might end up getting it squint because I'm trying to look through the camera rather than looking straight at it. There we go, how does that look? Look, what a difference already, it's transformed already and I might put one on the other side as well. I might go for this one because it's the same but different and it's smaller. So it means that depending on what kind of mood I'm in, I can have the small snowflake face in the front or the large one. Now, I am also going to add some what will I add? Some Christmas stickers, I think. Let's have a look. Right, well, I think I should put the cupcakes on it and also the candy canes because it's going to be a sweetie jar. So that gives us an idea of what's going to be in it. There we go. And let's have a little word underneath that. I have to say, even although I like doing crafty things, I'm not overly artistic. So you might actually end up being a lot better than me at, when it comes to sort of visualising and placing things on. Right, I'm going to go for season's greetings, I think. Yeah, it's a wee bit squint, but never mind. Okay, and then round the other side... I think I'll put the word at the top and the picture at the bottom this time. So I'm going for the cupcakes and I think I'll go for Merry Christmas with the cupcakes. Now if you don't have stickers or window clings you could always print things off the internet if you've got um, a printer. Just print any, if you go onto Pinterest and put free Christmas printables, you'll get hundreds of things up and just glue them on. If you've got something like Mod Podge or I'm not sure what other glue would stick to glass, but I'm sure you'll find something. And let's go for the cupcakes. Right, so we've got our big snowflake, we've got the candy cane, season's greetings, a smaller snowflake, Merry Christmas and cupcakes. Now I'm just going to pop some sweets in here to give you an idea. Right now I have got a nice big tub of roses here that I got ages ago when they were doing a really good deal on them in Asda so I'm just going to pop some of these into the jar because they'll be nice and brightly coloured but you can use anything at all that you want. You can use Christmas cookies, you could put mince pies in, anything at all that's your favourite Christmas tree or something that people like to nibble on at Christmas. Oh look what a great idea! 
Rosie's have now got the name of the suite or the description of the suite on the actual packaging so you don't need to look for the bit of paper and try and figure out what it is. So there's a hazel and caramel, tangy orange cream, definitely my favourite, sorry Tracy. Jack hates flavoured chocolate, fruity flavoured chocolate, which is great because I get them. <laughs> if I get there before the girls, I think that's quite pretty looking. Right, let's do something with the lid now. I think this might be quite pretty with this bow on the lid because it's a large bow and it's a large jar. I think that might be quite nice, but I think there's too much ribbon here. So I'm just going to cut that off just now and I'm going to stick it on just with some double sided tape probably. I've just trimmed that down and I've given it a nice sort of little pointy edge just to make it pretty and I'm just going to pop some double sided tape oops, onto here. So I've just popped a couple of bits on there just to make sure it's nice and secure. I'm going to take the backing off and then just find a nice place to put it on the, the lid. There we go. So let's have a look at the jar now. It's got the bright coloured sweeties in it, it's got snowflakes, it's got Christmas stickers and it's got a gorgeous Christmas ribbon on top and I will be proud to display that in my kitchen as a sweet treat jar for Christmas. Right, so I'm going to move on to my mason jar now and I think I'm going to turn this into a nice sort of retro style tea light holder um, using a fake candle obviously, we don't want to be using real ones and um, I do, I love the sort of retro farmhouse feel that's going around this year and especially with the the red truck with the Christmas tree on the back unfortunately I've not got any of them and I did think about printing one off but I think I'm just going to stick with what I've got here but what has just caught my eye just now is a sledge which is quite retro looking so I might use that on it and also the candle they're nice yeah and the and maybe the baubles and also as you can see I've had this for a while so the lid's looking a bit worse for wear and rusty so I'm going to want to do something to decorate that up a bit as well. I don't know what I might put some of the smaller snowflakes from the window clings onto the top as well look there's there's little um there's little sort of diddy ones that I could use, so I might do that. There we go. I thought I would put them on the, sort of the corners of the jar rather than on the sides again. And I was going to do one on each corner, but I only had three small ones and not four. So I put two small ones on the corners there, on the edges there. And I put a bigger one just behind the handle there, just to add a little bit of interest to that side of the jar. I quite like that, I think that's quite nice. Right, let's move on to the lid now. I'm thinking it might be quite nice to have this sort of dangling from it, especially I think the, the penguin and the sleigh look really quite smart together. So the ribbon that's on it isn't big enough to go right round the, the top of the jar. So being a mason jar it has got a hole in it. I wonder if I can do something uh -huh. so if I pop that through like that and then I can just get a bit of tape and tape it at the side. Right so I have basically just put some cello tape on the inside just to keep it Keep it there and that way it's, it's a bit of a Christmas dangle which is lovely. What I do want to do is put some of the lovely washi tape that I got from Laura around the edge of it. Um, like I say if you don't have washi tape you could use if you've got Christmas cello tape or you could stick a ribbon to it. You could do anything like that to decorate it up. I was going to use Santa but then it's occurred to me it would be sideways. So I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go with the snowflakes. So the great thing about washi tape, it's a bit like a sort of patterned masking tape in that it's sticky but not too sticky so you can um, put it on things and lift it off without doing any damage, that sort of thing. Which is why I can reuse the stuff that she's gave me. Right.
There we go. So it's not perfect because of the angle I'm trying to do it at. I'm trying to do it on camera for you. But you get the idea and I think it looks a lot better than the rusty lid that was there before. What I'm going to do now is the inside and this is where our Epsom salts come in. Again, I got these from the pound shop and I've used it in quite a lot of projects but it just looks like snow and you can use it scented or unscented, it's entirely up to you. These are lavender ones. So pop that in there, give it a wee squish about. What you could also do if you don't want to use a tea light or you could use a tea light but as well as that you can get, you know how you get the little Christmas trees, the little sort of brush trees? You could sand them in there as well which would be lovely. You get the idea, you can basically put anything that you want inside it. So I'm going to switch this on. Pop it in there, like that. Put the lid on. And what do you think? We've got an absolutely beautiful tea light decoration in a mason jar, sort of retro farmhouse style. So I think I will put it in the kitchen. And I think that's beautiful. Now, do I want to, do I want to put a sticker? Do you know what? I'm going to put a sticker over here just because. I'm going to put Hello Winter because it's got snow in it and it's got a sledge and it's got a penguin and some snowflakes. So I'm going to put Hello Winter on it. There we go. And that just decorates a little, little bit. Hello Winter. What do you think? So there we go. Craft number two. Done. And finally, I have got this coffee jar and I am going to use this to give a little Christmas smell to my bathroom. That sounds wrong. A Christmas scent in my bathroom, I think. So what I'm going to do is very similar to the tea light holder, but I'm going to use the cinnamon sticks instead. What will I put on this? I'm going to put a snowflake on here, I think. I think I might go with this one. Pop that there. This is going to be on the unit in my bathroom, so I'm not going to put anything on the other side because you're only going to see the one side of it anyway. So I'll pop that there. Do I want anything else on it? That's a wee bit squint. The good thing about the window clings is they're reusable, so if you do make it a bit squint, you can take it off and redo it. It's a bit better. Right, so I'll pop that one there. But I'm not going to be having the lid on here because... Um, I'm going to have the cinnamon sticks in, so I don't need to do anything with the lid. However, it looks a bit plain here, so I want something round there. I could put washi tape round it again, or what else did I have? Oh, do you know what? I forgot about the pincettia. I might have put that on there instead of the snowflake. I might just leave the snowflake on and make that the back. And put the pincettia on, that might be nice. Isn't that lovely? It's very Christmassy. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to use some double-sided tape. I've just noticed there's a seam going down the side there, so I don't want it over the seam. I'm going to put it... There, I think. There we go. Oh, that's pretty. And I'll move the snowflake round. I know I said that we don't need anything on the back, but it's not going to do any harm, is it? There we go, put that round there. How gorgeous is that? Right, and I do think I want something round here. Haha! -ha! Look what I found! I forgot I had this glitter craft ribbon. And look, there's a green one that will be perfect with the pincettia. Yay! I've not got much left, actually. I wonder if it'll go round... Because what I'm thinking is, if I pop that round there and just tape it at the back and it's a different green from the colour of the pincettia but it matches the, the wee bling bit in the middle, I'm just going to go with that. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut it to size and then just use a little bit of double sided tape at the back. But there we go. Do you know what? I think that's all the decoration we need for the outside of it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Epsom salts again. Yeah, so you don't need to use Epsom salts in this. You could use... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> you could make 
make a mess like I did, um, you could use fake snow, you could even just pop some tissue paper or something in the bottom. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to use. Like I say, this is just so adaptable, so versatile. You use whatever you've got. I have just made an absolute mess. <laughs> Can you see the mess I've made? Look. <laughs> Oops. Right. Will I just put that much in or will I add a... Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cinnamon sticks in and see if I want to add any more. I've never tried this before, I'm just winging it, can you tell? So there's one. Oh look! I forgot it was green, the cinnamon sticks. That's worked out perfectly. I know you're going to be saying, yeah, right, Fiona, so you did, but honestly, I did. And we could just sort of crisscrossy them like that. Ooh, I like that. What do we think of that? I think that's very pretty. Right, I am going to go and put that in the bathroom. So I'm going to put everything in place and then I'll wait. Right, so here is my bathroom unit. It's just one of the sort of corner units that I've got a few different things on. I'm going to take the love plant off the top and replace it with my Christmas decoration. And there we go. So we've got a gorgeous Christmas decoration in the bathroom and it's going to make it smell very festive as well. So yeah, there we go. Going to be a nice cinnamony smell in the bathroom now. But yeah, I like that. I'm happy with that. I'm going to pop my little um, mason jar tea light holder on the windowsill. That'll be lovely when it's dark outside and you just see the wee tea light changing colours. I love how the penguin, there's the penguin and then the snow and then the sledge. I just love how that's worked out. And I'm going to pop my little sweetie jar there. I think, I, I wish I had changed to put the bows around this way a wee bit so that I could have the snowflake and the stickers um, with the bow central, but it doesn't matter. I just think it's pretty. So any way that you look at it, you're going to see Christmas decoration and it's got the gorgeous bow on the top. So yeah, there we go. What do you think? So, so simple, using things that you've got lying about. I completely understand that not everybody's got crafty bits lying about, but most of us have got some kind of jar, some kind of tree decoration. You can buy stickers or window clings online really cheaply or in B&Ms. Um, if you've not got washi tape, you can use Christmas sellotape. You get different designs and you can print things off on your printer. Epsom salt's so easy to pick up. The same with the wee fake tea light holders. Just use anything, just use your imagination. Right, so I hope you enjoyed that. It might be too late for this Christmas now if you've not got things like that lying about. Um, or it's really, really quick if you have got the stuff lying about and you've still got a week left. But there's always next year as well. You can keep, you can save this video for next year or any of my Vlogmas videos for next year to give you some ideas. Right, crazy Christmas karaoke time now. So yesterday's song was Does your granny always tell ya? That the old songs are the best Then she's up and rock and rolling with the rest So here it is, Merry Christmas Everybody's having fun It's Christmas! <laughs> Another brilliant song, I just love that song It always gets everybody singing and cheery, doesn't it? So today's song is going to be Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas and let's go with Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas Make the Yuletide gay From now on Okay, so what are the words? I think they're quite appropriate for today because I'm positive again, so yes that might be a little clue for you. It's an easy one anyway. Love Michael Bubbly. Did I say that before? Love him. Right, so that is Crazy Christmas Karaoke done. That is our Christmas DIY done. And oh, what did you think of Brooke going out to her party today? Wasn't she looking gorgeous? Um, I don't think they'll be doing that much, but they're just, ex she's excited about the food, as you could probably tell. Oh, we'll get food. And hopefully they'll get a chance to dance about and maybe play some games. Um, just a wee bit of normality, that's what everybody's needing just now, but especially kids. I think this year's been really especially hard on the kids. So I think that's everything for today's Vlogmas. Don't forget to 
speak to me in the comments below. So again, thank you for all your support and for bearing with me over the last couple of days. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day. What are we on tomorrow? 19? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's scary. It's so scary. That was him lying down there. <laughs> Right, thanks again everybody. Please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. All the positivity again. I'm back in the Christmas spirit. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks everyone. Bye. Remember to be kind to each other. Santa's watching.